How you going everyone? Welcome to the funeral for Queen Elizabeth II. Oi, before you chuck a wobbly at me, remember that bloody Lizzo had a sense of humour. I'll be respectful and I'll start from the beginning. The day kicked off with everyone cheering for a garbo, which is so wholesome. Yeah, no, yeah, this is rock star shit, isn't it? Hip hip hooray for people that keep the streets clean. Lizzo and her awesomely organised entourage then hit the road. They walked from Westminster Hall to Westminster Abbey. I would have preferred some ACDC in her playlist, but the tunes were pretty good. Meanwhile, important wankers arrived at the hall. In Australia, we've got no idea who the fuck anyone is. I can't identify them we at this point. We can't spot everyone, no. unfortunately. They look like... They could well be local dignitaries, it's hard to see. Joe Biden was like, I'm not getting on the fucking bus, I've got my own custom made beast. There was confusion over who gets to open it, British staff or American staff. The fella that tried to open it is like, I was just checking the central locking, sir. Please don't shoot me. Also, I love your earpiece. Is that an in-house Secret Service brand or do you buy them elsewhere? How long does this fucking thing go for, says Joe. Handshake for you. Welcome. Enjoy the canapes. Handshake for you. Nah, not you. Whoa, she is fuming after that one. Crikey, this Queensguard and or Kingsguard bloke is running late, I think. Did he get separated from from his mates? How awkward. He's mumbling, I knew I shouldn't have stayed up late watching House of the Dragon and Lord of the Rings back to back. That's a lot of flags by the way, but fair enough, if ever there was an event to go psycho with flags, this is the one. The pallbearers are the real MVPs, we all know it, search your heart, you know it to be true. I'm considering a career change. I want to hand in a CV to become a royal family pallbearer. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, absolute legends. Pure Pure composure, singing, grieving, speeches, and then BAM! Time to hit the road again. The fellas gently chuck Liz in the boot. Everyone has nicked flowers from their one neighbour that has an epic garden. He won't mind, he can regrow his bloody rose bushes. Bugger me, this funeral could pick up quite a few Oscars, I reckon. Best cinematography, best costumes, best director for sure. They even whipped out a cannon. I wonder if my funeral will be as cool as this. Probably not. When I die, it'll just be my best mate Mozza setting me on fire like I'm Darth Vader, watching me burn. He'll get shit-faced, drinking out of a goon bag, which isn't that bad. It'll be cost-effective, because funerals are pricey. <gasps> There's Sandy and Mick. <laughs> Make no mistake, they look innocent, but they're definitely thinking about seizing the throne. They are unhappy with the line of succession. King Charles better watch his back is all I'm fucking saying. Oh, and there's Emma the horse, or a large pony. She doesn't care about labels. No, 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 we're not putting this in the ground. We could sell this for an absolute packet on FB Marketplace. Keep it safe. Oh, there's titties on that blanket. Anyway, RIP Queen Lizzo, you were a top-notch fair dinkum Sheila, and you're gonna be missed in the world. Whew, time for the pub, I reckon. 